Are you sick and tired of working your abs day in and day out and seeing no to little results? Are you desperate for a six pack but just can't seem to get it down? Well, with this video, you're gonna learn how to actually work your abs correctly. Woo! What's up, it's Brady here with Gons and Oak. Hope you enjoyed the little intro we had going on. Um, but we got a good video for you guys today. We're talking about the biggest six pack mistake I see. And so before we get into it, um, we're gonna have a little bit of an anatomy lesson and then it's all gonna make a lot of sense. So let's get going. All right, so you have your rectus abdominis. This is the muscle that is known as the six pack. It originates right on your sternum right here and uh, inserts about your pubic region right here. Um, and then you have your hip flexors. Your hip flexors are two muscles that make up the iliopsoas complex. It originates in your lower back about here and in your pelvis and then it comes in the front and connects to your femur. So knowing that, we can determine what the function of these muscles are. The rectus abdominis has one main purpose. It is to contract these two points, the origin and the insertion together, like this. The hip flexor muscles, which remember originate here and insert here, its function is hip flexion, so this. So that leads into the biggest six pack mistake I see, is people doing core and hip flexor exercises instead of ab exercises. You train your abs just like you train any other muscle. It needs to contract. So you think about your bicep, if you, if you wanna get big biceps, you do curls, you contract the muscle. So the abs are not any different. In order to get them bigger and stronger, you need to contract them, doing exercises that cause them to come closer together like this. All right, so this is how to incorrectly do a leg raise exercise. As you can see, just my hip flexors are doing all the work. But this is how you do it correctly, using your abs to flex your trunk. And uh, here's another one of my favorite exercises, an incline crunch, once again, nothing but hip flexion being done here. This is how to do it correctly, adding trunk flexion, which will engage your abs. And then my favorite all-time ab exercise done incorrectly, once again, a rigid torso, doing nothing but hip flexion. And then here's the correct way to do it, involving trunk flexion. So there you go. A few exercises I see that people do in order to get a six pack um, are just so stupid, to be honest. Three big exercises that you should not do if you're trying to get a six pack are number one, planks. Planks is a core exercise. It involves bracing your core and it's great as a core exercise, but it is not a good ab exercise. Another one are these scissor things. A lot of people do these in order to develop the lower abs, and although it may do a little bit for the lower abs, it is once again not a good ab exercise. Another one is flutter kicks. Flutter kicks is basically just little miniature hip flexion movements that work your hip flexors and not your abs. So if you're trying to get a six pack, these are not the right exercises to be doing. So I know those are just a few examples, but you can incorporate this into all your ab exercises. Next time you're doing abs, pay attention to this. Is the origin and the insertion getting closer together? That's gonna be the determining factor whether you're using your abs or just a bunch of other core muscles. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you get a super sick shredded six pack this summer. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Follow us on Instagram, by the way, because you definitely should. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.